all about really is a four player co-op. That's our biggest thing this year is we want to you know, inform everybody that you can play the single player campaign with three of your friends. What we had to put in to make it feel like future combat really is a technology that's not necessarily up and running today, but we have knowledge that it will be in the future. So optical camo is something that, you know, if you search the web, you'll start to see some uh, semblance of it happening right now. We want to take that to the next step and provide the player with a, uh, a nanotechnology suit that kind of lets them go uh, stealth mode. So this stuff is definitely in the beginning stages of development. Uh, Ubisoft is lucky enough that we have some relationships with some manufacturers of gear, uh, some different military organizations that I'm not allowed to reveal who they are. Um, but we have been able to get some knowledge that this stuff is in fact in production. The story is, uh, that's something that we're working on constantly. Uh, right now we're having the ghost as the tip of the spear as far as uh, being able to come in uh, to a global situation and make sure that it doesn't escalate to a, uh, a conflict scenario. What somebody who has played Ghost Recon in the past can expect from this one is uh, more action uh, with more more stealth uh, and a combination of those two sort of in a way that's going to provide them with a choice. You know, do you want to go stealth mode or do you want to go all action? And hopefully players will enjoy that. Future Soldier, again, an optical camo is a tool that they're going to use a lot. Uh, that provides the main stealth component to the game. Uh, giving their orders, again, in co-op mode with four-player co-op. You're going to have to have really good communication with your teammates as far as when takedowns happen, uh, who's going to pull that trigger on, who's going to go in and do the rescue. Online mode is definitely something that we're going to do, much like we've done in the past. We're going to have adversarial, uh, again, co-op. Uh, the game types I can't reveal right now, but uh, we hope to have that in a fashion that the players really enjoy it. As far as changing strategies based on technology, we definitely want the player to have that stealth feel. Again, it's... Uh, Getting into the to the heart of the battle without being detected is something that you know military organizations around the world want to do. We want to provide that to the player uh, and, and sort of allow them to get up and close and let them dictate when the action is going to turn from stealth into uh, shoot them up. Definitely, run and gun is going to be something we're going to support, uh, but probably not as much as some of the other games that are out there. Again, we want the players in, in Ghost Recon Future Soldier to have that tactical feel. Uh, right now, the ship date for this game is going to be Q1 next year, 2011. And the biggest thing that we want people to get is, again, cooperative mode, play through the single player campaign in a way that, you know, you have to problem solve with your buddies. You know, that's something that everybody's shooting for, so we want to provide that to them.